Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Texas Association for College and Mission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so our panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many sessions happening, uh, so be sure to go to the StriveScan website to sign up for more. And this session is being recorded and will be available within about a week at strivescan.com backslash Texas. And with that, I'll turn it over to our first presenter, and that is the University of Illinois uh, Urbana-Champaign. Hi, everyone. My name is Jill Davis, and I'm the Texas Regional Rep for the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. I am your contact for all things Illinois. I live in North Texas, but I serve the entire state for admissions purposes, so I will always be your first point of contact if you have any questions. I'm happy to be that person for you. A little about the University of Illinois. We are the flagship institution in the state of Illinois. Um, we're large public tier one research institution. We're located in Champaign-Urbana, which is in central Illinois. We're about two and a half, almost three hours directly south of Chicago. We're also about three hours away from St. Louis, as well as Indianapolis. So we're kind of in a nice um, part of the Midwest in terms of proximity to metropolitan areas. Um, Champaign-Urbana is a nice, comfortable college town, but we're actually classified as a micro-urban environment because we have all of the amenities of big city life, um, restaurants and shopping and shows and internship opportunities and things like that. But we have the luxury of being a nice, small town, safe community. Um, like I mentioned, uh, Illinois is large. We have over 50,000 students total and over 33,000 undergraduate students. Although we are large, we feel like we do a good job of serving our students at our size. We have a student to faculty ratio of 18 to one and 80% of the courses that we offer on campus have 50 students or less. So we're working really hard to make sure that you feel comfortable and you feel well connected when you're on campus in your academic settings. We are, like I said, a research focused institution. 68% of our undergraduate students participate in research on campus and that research can start as early as your freshman year. We are highly diverse. We're ranked number one for most students of color among top 100 Midwest universities. On campus, we have all 50 states represented, and this year we actually have 113 countries represented, so a nice diverse student population. Our students are highly involved and passionate about all that they do. We offer over 1,800 student organizations on campus. So everything from Greek life and um, philanthropic organizations, religious organizations, those, those types of things, to um, the Squirrel Watchers Club, the Squirrel Watchers Watchers Club. We have the Dipping Things in Chocolate Club. The club that has the most members on campus is the October Lovers Club. So if you're really into Halloween, and apple cider and that sort of thing. We have a home for you. And I think that's something really special about the University of Illinois is that while we are large, it's easy to find your people, your place, your home at the university. We are academically focused. This year, we're actually the number 15 ranked public institution in the US by US News and World Report. We have over 150 majors across our 11 academic communities. We are best known for engineering first and foremost. The Granger College of Engineering is the number six ranked undergraduate program in the nation. We offer 14 under, uh, undergraduate engineering degrees, 13 of which are ranked in the top five of their respective categories. We also offer 14 computer science and computer science related programs. So it's very easy if you have a really niche interest within technology at the University of Illinois, there are lots of ways to explore that. We're also well known for business. The Gies College of Business is the number nine ranked undergraduate program nationwide, and it houses the number two ranked um, accounting program. Really, though, in my opinion, there are shining star programs across all of our disciplines, um, from our number seven ranked psychology program to our number 23 ranked media studies program, and that ranking is a worldwide ranking. In terms of our grad programs, our information sciences program is the number one ranked program in the country, and we have brought that um, to the undergraduate level as well. So regardless of what you choose to study, your education is going to be completed at a high caliber. 
at Illinois. If you decide to apply to Illinois, you will be applying directly to the major that you want to study. And so you'll come in, all of our programs are direct admit. So we do want you to know what you want to do prior to applying to Illinois. What you see here is our middle 50% ranges for SAT, ACT, and GPA. We conduct holistic reviews for all applicants that are applying as freshmen. But this gives you a good idea of the ranges that our admitted students fell in. Middle 50%, of course, meaning 25% of our students we admitted were above these ranges and 25% were below, but this is that middle section. Um, so when we're looking at a student for admissions, we are taking first and foremost um, academics into account. We want to see that you've taken advantage of the rigor offered to you. We also want to see um, that you did well in those courses, of course. Um, this year for fall 2021 applicants, we did go test optional for, per COVID-19 um, and accommodating students who were not able to test. We have not yet decided whether we'll be test optional moving forward, but we're hoping that a big announcement will be made soon one way or another. We, of course, will be looking at your extracurricular involvement, and then we'll have you write at least one supplemental essay for us. A couple points of Illini success. We are currently ranked number one in the Big Ten Academic Alliance for best return on investment. We work really hard to make sure that you have the best connections to find success after graduation. We bring over 11,000 unique employers to our campus to recruit our students. That usually includes about 86 of the Fortune 100 companies and close to 49 of the Global 100 companies. Last year, 59 of the Fortune 100 companies um, did interviews on our campus. Just to wrap up, we have a large living alumni network, over 470,000 alumni. Um, so I am going to drop my contact information in the chat. Thank you so much, everyone. Please let me know if you have any questions and ILL. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is University of Illinois at Chicago. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Hi, everyone. My name is Darby and I'm with the University of Illinois at Chicago Office of Admissions. I am based here in the DFW area um, and I cover everything from New Mexico to North Carolina. So I have quite the uh, wide range of, uh, of regional territory, but I'm here to help y'all um, in the Dallas area. So just to start off, you can kind of see where we're at here located in the DFW, or I'm sorry, in the Chicagoland area. Um, we are um, in the west loop of um, Chicago, so you can look straight out and see to the east of us um, Lake Michigan, as well as um, as well as a lot of other cool skyscrapers there as well. So to continue on. Um, this is where we are located. That whole red portion right there is the East Campus where the majority of your undergraduate program will take place. Uh, the you are here sign, uh, majority of the time when this is done, uh, we are in Student Center East. So that's just kind of giving you a general overview of where you would be located um, with the university and placement wise. Um, what is not pictured here is our West Campus, which is where all of our um, graduate and uh, professional study, pre-professional programs and um, our med school is actually located. So it's about 15 minutes down the road, walk, 15 minute walk down the road from us um, because we are on the middle Illinois middle. Illinois Medical District as well. Um, as you can see, we are about a mile away from the loop, which is where all of the subways go into the city and then jet back out to wherever they're off to. And then we are about a mile and a half to Lake Michigan. So really cool location um, to be in the city of Chicago, right downtown. Some of our bragging rights, and we like to pat ourselves on the back, is that we are ranked number 52 for best public colleges by US News and World Report. Um, we have been trending up within all of our uh, um, undergraduate programs, as well as our um, enrollment as well. We are top 10 best value by Wall Street Journal and most transformative by Money Magazine. Um, something to go on along those lines as well is that we are in the top five for being most diverse um, in the nation. So we do not have um, a minority on campus or majority. Um, we call we come from all different racial, ethnic, ethnic. I'm sorry, ethnic backgrounds. Um, as well as socioeconomical backgrounds being located in Chicago. Um, and we are very LGBTQ friendly. We're in the top 25 as well. 
Within the university, like I said, uh, we are trending upward with our enrollments. We're about 21,641, so we're just shy of that 22,000 mark. Um, and with that, some students tend to get a little worried because that is a large number. However, we do keep it to a 19 to one student to faculty ratio for those um, students who like the one-on-one -on -one attention, um, which gives us a class under 20 students for about 35% of those and 80% of the classes are under 50 students. So you're never gonna get those large lecture halls um, of 200 students where you feel lost in the crowd. Um, some important things about our application process, we do a holistic review, so we do take everything into consideration when you apply. Um, we are test optional, and for those who are still looking to apply for fall 2021, we have extended the deadline till April 1st, um, and you can send us unofficial transcripts, and if you are admitted, we will ask for those official transcripts. Um, there is fee waivers available as well as a $60 application fee if you do not qualify for the fee waiver also. Some other things to keep on um, in mind if you are not applying for fall 2021, but you're looking for fall 2022, early action, know that the uh, early action, early decision are two different um, meanings early action is not binding, early decision is. So just double check when you're talking to universities. The deadline for us is November 1st. Same goes for our GPPA and um, Honors College was December 1st for that final decision. Um, GPPA is our guaranteed program of professional admission. So if you apply in as a freshman, you guarantee a spot saved for you um, in grad school, which is really, really nice. Regular decision is February 1st uh, for fall 2022 applicants, and you'll hear a decision between December and April. Just to kind of give you a screenshot of what we're looking at for out-of-state tuition, about 27,000 for non-residents, um, and then you have your uh, optional and your estimated as well, if you want to take a picture of that real quick. Um, it'll kind of give you a, a, a guesstimation of what you're looking at for uh, UIC being out-of-state. And just to wrap it up, if you all have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out to me um, at admissions at uic.edu. Uh, you can also take a virtual tour and get more information on UIC and any updates at our Discover UIC page, which is discover.uic.edu. And any admissions information will be on our admissions page at admissions.uic.edu. Thanks, y'all, and go Flames. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is Quincy University. Give me just a second to bring up the screen. Okay. Are you all seeing the slide with the notes? Are you seeing the slide? See, we're seeing the slide. Okay, perfect. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tom Oliver. I'm the Vice President for Enrollment Management at Quincy University. We are a small uh, Catholic Franciscan University in West Central Illinois. In fact, Quincy is the westernmost point uh, in the state of Illinois. We're about an hour and 45 minutes north of St. Louis, Missouri. Quincy University is an institution that is committed to success by design. Uh, every student who enrolls at our institution, uh, we commit into each individual student a, a plan for their success, not just in the classroom, but throughout their college experience. Uh, we take your college experience very seriously, and every student is going to work with a faculty advisor and a success coach to develop a customized plan to ensure that you, one, graduate in four years, you find a passion academically, and that you are prepared for whatever is next in your life. The idea behind our success plan is not that it's just a degree checklist. We all have degree checklists, but in addition to that, your plan is going to be mapping out what you want your college experience to look like, whether that's taking on internships or experiential learning opportunities or undergraduate research, 
all of that gets planned out so that you know at every step of your journey what is next. And you have faculty and staff who are here to support you in whatever you want to do to make your college experience unique and meaningful to you. It's your journey, it's your success. There are no limits to what you can accomplish at the university. And we're committed to be with you every step of the way. So the first part of it is personalized academic advising. Uh, our plan covers your academic degree plan and many of our students come undecided and that's okay. We have uh, a significant portion of your first year courses are Bonaventure courses, which are part of our general education requirement. There's also a career development piece. And so all of our freshmen will be connecting with career services to, to do some exploration of different types of career opportunities that might fit kind of where your interests are, what your academic plan is, uh, where your natural uh, talents might lie. And then we also map out an experiential component, uh, whether it's research or internships or study abroad, all of our students are gonna have learning opportunities outside of the classroom. Not, and so the, our academic experience is about traditional classroom learning, but it's also connecting the ideas in the classroom with what uh, you can do in the world beyond QU's walls. Uh, we also will help you with building a plan for co-curricular involvement, whether that's in student government or uh, in intramural athletics or in the fine arts or in student media. Whatever your interests, we're here to support you. And we believe the best path to success is to have a plan. We are independent Catholic and Franciscan university. So there is a spiritual dimension to everything that we do. Uh, we welcome individuals of all faiths. And so you don't have to be Catholic to find a place at QU, but we do have a campus ministry office that works with students who want to take on a spiritual exploration and they're there to meet you where you are and to help you with that. Uh, and then as a Catholic and Franciscan University, service is integral to everything that we do. And so all of our students as part of their graduation requirement have a service uh, project that they will be doing as part of uh, their degree plan. And it is to instill in our students the need to, to reach out and to help those who are less fortunate. One of the elements of our success by design program is that we have an all inclusive tuition. So at QU, when you pay tuition, you are paying for everything up front. There are no fees. Uh, we include your textbooks in our tuition. There are no student activity fees. There are no parking fees. There are no technology fees, no facility fees, no fees for campus services. And so if you need to see a medical professional, if you need to see a mental health professional, if you need tutoring, if you need assistance in any way, those services are provided at no additional charge. Everything is included in our tuition. So you know upfront what the university will cost, minus your financial aid. It's very straightforward, it's very simple. For the students who are interested in areas outside of business, all of our majors will have an opportunity to get a business fundamental certificate as part of their degree plan if they choose. And we make this available to students over the summer. It's available at no extra cost. And the idea is that even an art major or a philosophy major or a music major can get some fundamental skills that will help them when they go out into the marketplace, they'll have background in finance, management, marketing, and uh, general business. Uh, and our approach combines, combines the best of a traditional liberal arts and sciences education with professional business training. In our academic sphere, we have 40 academic programs. We have also professional programs in nursing, uh, pre-med, computer science, communication, and pre-law. Our Quest Center is our experiential learning center. And that, so that is where you will satisfy your service learning requirement. You'll do your study abroad. Uh, you'll work with career services. Last, uh, our May graduates, 91% of our graduates were placed in a professional job or graduate school within six months. Uh, we have an honors program for students who have at least a 3.5 GPA or, and a 26 or a 1230 on the SAT. Our student to faculty ratio is 14 to one. So individual attention in the classroom is one of the hallmarks of what we do. Every class at QU is taught by a member of the faculty. We're a residential campus. So our Franciscan heritage, we welcome all faiths. And if you are familiar with Franciscanism within the Catholic church, you'll know that the Franciscans are a pretty progressive 
uh, dimension of the Catholic Church and uh, very much into respect for creation and service to others, as well as a, uh, the idea of being stewards of our environment and trying to make the world a better place. Uh, through spiritual life, there's obviously our campus ministry office, mission trips, spiritual mentors. We have over 30 campus clubs and organizations, service clubs, academic clubs, major specific honor societies. We have a Greek life program and we have intramural athletics. Uh, we also have performing arts. Uh, our Gray Gallery uh, is a, a student-run uh, opportunity for students who in the studio arts to display their works. And we have a number of uh, bands and choir ensembles for students to participate in. And 21 uh, Division II athletic programs and one Division I program in men's volleyball. The city of Quincy, our home, this is a city of 40,000 people. We have 80 restaurants, we have 20 parks, 10 museums, 120 national corporations here. There are plenty of internship opportunities. In fact, since we're the only four-year university in Quincy, uh, there, we have more opportunities for internships than we have students to fill them. And so if you wanna do an internship, you're gonna find an opportunity here in Quincy, Illinois. Uh, this is a town that is large enough to provide some of the big city amenities but yet small enough to be friendly. We are the largest city for 60 miles. Uh, and we, there's a great relationship between Quincy the city and Quincy the university. We want you, uh, and so to talk a little bit about admission, all of our admission process is holistic. Our application does not have a fee. We are a proud member of Common Application. And as soon as you apply, you'll have immediate contact from your admission counselor who will walk you through every step of the enrollment process. Uh, students have to send a transcript and a writing sample, but we have always been a test optional institution. We prefer to see four years of English, three years of math, three years of science, two years of social studies, uh, some additional foreign electives, whether it's music, fine arts, or, or, or uh, foreign language. Our average GPA is around a 3.25 uh, for students, and the typical curriculum is generally uh, at the advanced level. Uh, um, we have can I have you go to your last slide so the next okay. person could And then we have scholarships you. available for students who submit test scores and not. And then this is kind of a, what our scholarships range. And then with that, I'm going to turn it back over to our facilitator and I will put my contact information into uh, the chat box. So thank you for your time this afternoon. Good luck with your college search. Thank you so much. Okay, our next presenter is James Madison University. All right, hi guys. All right, let me get this PowerPoint up. Hope everyone is having a wonderful Tuesday. My name is Erin. I am one of the assistant directors in the admissions office at James Madison. And as a very proud JMU alum, I like to say I've got the best job in the world since I get to talk about my favorite place all the time. Um, something I think you know, you're hearing from five other great universities tonight in this session, but what's gonna make us most unique is that we're in Virginia. We're in Harrisonburg, Virginia. I'll talk a little bit more about our location, um, but certainly a different environment from these other great schools you're hearing from. Lots of tradition, school spirit is really big at JMU. We see purple and gold everywhere on campus um, and off campus for that matter. And there's definitely a very nurturing environment while students are here learning and having a lot of fun. So some quick facts about the university. By Virginia standards, we are one of the larger public schools in Virginia. We've got almost 20,000 undergraduates. Average class size is the, though is only around 25 and our student to faculty ratio is only 16 to one. So you get the resources of that big public university, but still the feeling of a small college academically. You get to know your professors, they get to know you. If you oversleep and miss your 8 a.m. class, they're gonna notice that you weren't there and they're gonna ask you where you were and if you're doing okay. We are division one of the NCAA for all of our varsity sports. We've also got club and intramural sports. Tons of support services on campus. We even have a student success center that houses um, some of our learning resource centers, the counseling center, career and academic advising offices, the university health center, as well as a couple of good dining facilities. Our food is nationally ranked and we're kind of obsessed with it. So we talk about it a lot. Um, we like to say great food, great atmosphere, great support on campus. There's a reason that our freshman retention rate is so high. 
Of course, if you're coming to college, you're coming to learn, and we've got about 164 different academic programs broken up into the different colleges you see listed on your screen. Now, it is very common for students at JMU to double major or have a minor or concentrations. For example, my degree, my major was communication studies. I had a concentration in public relations and a minor in human resource development. That's just a lot of words that say that I'm very much a people person and I wanted to make sure that those were the career paths I was looking at. But like I said, it's really common for our students to pursue different academic interests. Often those programs are gonna be closely aligned, but they don't have to be. One of my favorite stories was a student that just graduated a couple of years ago. He came to JMU with a lot of different interests and he wanted to pursue them both. So he double majored in chemistry and musical theater. Those programs didn't have any overlap at all. I'm not sure when he had time to do anything besides go to sleep or go to class and do his homework and hopefully occasionally sleep because those are two pretty demanding programs. But he was very passionate about the sciences and the arts and he didn't want to have to choose. So it was great that he was able to pursue both. He was also a member of our honors college and for his senior thesis, his senior year, he actually wrote a musical about chemistry because he had to combine both majors. And if you go to bondedthemusical.com. You can still see the staged reading of that musical. It's a cute little romantic comedy. Um, and then one of his good friends was also a media arts and design major at JMU. And for her senior capstone, she needed to create a short film. So they worked together to adapt his musical script into a screenplay. They filmed it. They actually, right after graduation, were heading off to premiere it at a film festival in Washington, DC. And they showed it at a couple other film festivals as well. But I love that great example of the interdisciplinary and cross-disciplinary approach to academics at JMU. I should also point out that as a double major in the Honors College, he also graduated from JMU in four years. So when I say you can do anything you want academically here at JMU, you can, as long as you set your mind to it, you're gonna find the support to help you be successful. So in terms of the admissions process, our review process focuses on your academics within the context of your high school experience. So I'm looking to see, did you take challenging classes in the core subject areas based on what your high school offers, whether that's AP, IB, dual enrollment, honors, college prep, what your high school offers, we want to see you taken advantage of. So after I look at your core classes, then I look at your grades, not your GPA, but your actual final grades in those core subjects. Competitive applicants to JMU are going to have mostly A's and B's. Of course, we're taking things into account this year, next year, and probably the year after that for students whose grades were impacted by the pandemic, whether you went past fail or stopped, get, you know, stopped grading at a certain point, we're taking that all into account and we're going to factor that into our process. We went test optional back in 2017, so we have not needed test scores for admission purposes, for the Honors College, or for any of our merit-based scholarships. So whether you choose to send them or not, we're not using them. So my advice is don't send them because we're not using them. But it's up to you. If you send them, they'll go into your file, but I promise you we're not looking at them either way. We're really just looking at the information on your high school transcript. We've got early action and regular decision. And as you already heard um, from one of my colleagues earlier, early action is that non-binding. So students who apply early action are gonna get our decisions by early to mid-January. Either way, early action or regular decision, students have until May 1st to accept any offer of admission. I do wanna point out that the deadlines you see on your screen were deadlines specifically for this year. We made some adjustments due to the pandemic. So make sure you keep an eye on the website and information and emails for next year and the year after. Um, I expect those deadlines are gonna shift back to what we normally have, um, which would make them a little bit earlier. But again, just keep an eye on the website and we'll be as flexible as we can for you. We do have our own JMU application. We are also on the coalition application, and this is kind of breaking news. And um, we just announced a couple weeks ago that starting next year, we will also be on the common application. So you've got three different forms you can choose from, completely up to you. It doesn't matter to me which one you submit. In fact, by the time it gets to me to review, it looks the same by the time it gets through our system. So honestly, whichever application you wanna use, as long as you hit submit, that's all I ask. So I said I'd talk a little bit more about our location. Like I said, we're in Virginia, so over on the East Coast. We are about two hours by car from Washington, DC, and about two hours by car from Richmond, Virginia, which is the capital of Virginia. Beautiful spot in the Shenandoah Valley. We've got the Blue Ridge Mountains on one side, the Allegheny Mountains on the other. Lots of national um, forests and state parks nearby. Students really like to take advantage of those outdoor opportunities. Harrisonburg itself is also a great college town. 
Downtown Harrisonburg is just a couple blocks from campus. I'm actually literally sitting a block from campus behind me and a block from downtown in front of me. So it really is easy to get there. Lots of locally owned restaurants and stores and businesses, really popular destination for students. We even do a downtown block party to kick off the school year where we shut down the streets between the edge of campus and downtown and all of the freshmen gather together and they're literally led in a parade downtown. We shut down all the traffic, often the marching band leads them and we have a marching band of about 500 students. So it's a pretty cool sight to see. Um, but again, students like to take advantage of being in Harrisonburg, what's on campus, what's in the college town as well as what's in the Shenandoah Valley. Major airports being DC, easy to get to. We also have a regional airport, Shenandoah Valley Regional Airport, that's about a 15, 20 minute drive from campus. So again, easy to come see us from wherever in Texas you might be. I am your counselor, so please feel free to reach out to me at any point. I miss getting to travel to see you guys this year, so feel free to email me. You can call our office. You can also schedule a specific time to have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom or phone call with me. I'm here to be a resource for you to answer any questions that I can, so don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is DePaul University. Hello everyone, my name is Brenda Chavez and I work for DePaul University, which is in Chicago, Illinois. Um, and it's just so great being here with y'all tonight and kind of talking a little bit more about DePaul. Um, I am regionally located in the DFW, um, but I'm a very proud um, double demon. So I did my bachelor's and my master's at DePaul. Um, so happy to just talk with you all tonight. A little background information about DePaul is we were founded in 1898 in Chicago. Um, we used to be known as the little school under the L, which is what we call the train here in Chicago. And now we're the largest Catholic university in the US. Um, even though we're a Catholic university, we were one of the first universities in Chicago to open admission to women, people of color, and those from the Jewish community. So for the longest time, if you're one of the three, all three, DePaul was the only school you could go to. So even though we are Catholic, Jewish life is huge at DePaul. Muslim life is very large as well. We have about 30 religions represented on campus. And if you don't want to practice a faith or anything, that's totally fine as well. We will never force you to go to mass or anything like that. Uh, we are a liberal arts university, so you do have to take classes like art and literature, you know, philosophy, history, and you do have to take two religion courses, but they can be anything you want them to be. Um, one of mine I took on witchcraft and voodoo, and then the other one was about religion during the time of slavery in the U.S., so it's more so about that liberal arts education. And even though we are a larger private university at almost 23,000 students, our average classroom size is 22, and our student and faculty ratio is 15 to one. So you're never gonna be in lecture halls, you know, even your freshman year, and your professor is always gonna be a professor and not a teaching assistant. These are our 10 schools and colleges. Um, these last two you may not necessarily be thinking about right now, um, but maybe law school, right? We do have some accelerated programs for students that want to go on to law school, a 3-3 bachelor's JD, as well as some accelerated programs for those of you interested in pre-med, any kind of sciences like that. We also offer five-year bachelor master's programs in several different areas for those of you that already know hey, I think I think I want to do my master's as well. And I kind of want to do an accelerated timeline that saves both time and money. Our College of Business was the first in Chicago, and it was one of the first 10 in the nation. So it's been around for quite a long time. It's right in downtown Chicago. For those of you that know downtown Chicago, that's where all the Fortune 500 companies are. That's where a lot of opportunities are going to be. So not only are your internship opportunities literally right next door in front, um, DePaul's reputation, because we were the first college of business in Chicago, um, that really goes a long way. And we have a lot of alumni, both in Chicago, all over the US and in the world. Our College of Computing and Digital Media is our fastest growing college. It's home to some of our most popular majors like film and television. So for those of you that are really interested in film, um, that's a great choice because we have a lot at Cinespace. Cinespace is the largest production studio outside of LA and it's in Chicago. 
DePaul is the only school that has a lot there. So we're literally next door to all the Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, Empire, really anything you see on Netflix that's filmed in Chicago is usually going to be filmed at Cinespace. Um, so that's why our film and television program is our most popular, but as well as computer science, game design, game program, animation, those are all going to be very popular majors. Um, our theater school and our school of music are conservatories, so that's important for you to know. Um, they are pretty competitive. Our acting program is top 10 in the U.S., so very competitive but amazing. If any of you are Stranger Things fans, Joe Keery is um, one of our alumni, and he was actually at DePaul when I was at DePaul. So crazy that I got to see him in productions at DePaul, and now he's on my Netflix. Uh, we also have more than 300 academic programs. So, you know, if you want to change your major, most likely we're going to have the other major you want. A lot of our students double major, have minors, but even if you just want to take a class in a different area. And like I mentioned before, our classes are pretty small. So you really get to know your professors, you get to know your peers. Um, it's a very involved kind of learning environment. And, you know, I can talk about facts all day and statistics, but something I really want to talk about is our success rate. Um, so our students do really well. So that's over 90% of our students within six months of graduation go on to full-time employment, grad school, law school, med school. Um, so our students do very well, and it's because they're already involved in internships and part-time opportunities, you know, in Chicago at DePaul before graduating, rather than waiting until you graduate and then moving to a city like Chicago. And we also want you to just, you know, get out there and explore the city. Um, you know, we have so many different opportunities. A lot of our students do service in the city. We have over 100 student service organizations. You even have service learning classes. We're part of the classes doing hours somewhere. Um, so definitely a lot, a lot to choose from. Um, and just kind of thinking about next steps for applying. We are on Comment App. We have no application fee. Um, we have been test optional since 2012. So, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, sending test scores if you don't want to. That's totally fine. If you do, feel free to send them in. Our midpoint um, for ACT is around the 26th and then for SAT is a 1200. So, but we have a holistic process, so a lot to choose from. Um, but thank you so much. And I want to put my information in the chat if you ever want to reach out with questions. Thank you and good night. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is Bradley. Jamal, I don't think we're hearing you. Sorry about that. I am sharing my screen right now. Everybody see that? Yes, we can. All right, what's up guys? My name is Jamal Stevenson. I am a newly, uh, a newly hired admission counselor. I was hired in November, uh, graduated from Bradley in May. So went straight from undergrad to working for the university. I love the university clearly. Um, so we'll get right started. One of the reasons why I stayed in the in, at, at Bradley uh, was because I love the Peoria area. So I think it's really cool that Peoria offers um, pretty much the urban benefits of a big city, but also have we have the small personality of a small town. So as you see this map right here, um, we're a good central location for uh, uh, the Quad Cities from Chicago, Indianapolis, and St. Louis. We're about two and a half hours approximately each um, from all of those cities. So. Uh, we're a good central location. We are a mid-sized university, so that means that 
Uh, we are under a little bit of 6,000 students. Um, this is really cool because it allows you to have a more personal, uh, more personal attention from your peers, from your professors, um, like larger, uh, rather than, you know, going to a large university, but you also have a lot of opportunities, um, like you were attending a smaller university. So, um, but we aren't that small. Like I said, we pride ourselves on being mid-sized. So that means that our average class size is about 17 students. Uh, we do have a 12 to one student faculty ratio. So you will be taught by uh, 100%, uh, faculty, faculty teaches 100% of the classes. So you don't have to be worried about being taught by a TA or anything like that. So um, very personalized uh, uh, experience and whatnot. We also have more than 185 academic programs and I'll go through um, what that means. So. Um, within those programs fall within five colleges at Bradley. Uh, one of it, one of our uh, popular colleges is the College of Business. If you're looking to major in a, anything from accounting to marketing, entrepreneurship, finance, and any of those things, then the College of Business is for you. Um, and then in one of our other colleges, uh, our College of Communication and Fine Arts. This is a really fun college. Um, if you want to major in art and design, uh, music, theater, arts, interactive media communication, this is really cool. With uh, the College of Communication and Fine Arts, um, there is an opportunity to go to Hollywood in our Hollywood semester. So basically, you'll uh, uh, study and live in Hollywood, LA, uh, and, and, and that area for a semester, and that's all paid for. Uh, your classes are, are within a Bradley's curriculum, so you don't have to pay anything extra uh, to take classes. So uh, tuition and everything stays the same for that semester. So that's a really popular program uh, that we do at the communication fine arts level. For the College of Education and Health Sciences, if you wanna go on to nursing, that's uh, direct admit. We have a, a great nursing program and a, a very tight curriculum for the nursing program, very popular major on campus for us. And then we also have um, education counseling uh, and leadership. And then if you're if you want to get involved in PT and health sciences, this is the college for you. Um, another one of our popular colleges is the College of Engineering and Technology. Um, so we have civil engineering, uh, electrical engineering, computer engineering, industrial manufacturing technology, and also mechanical. We also recently just added chemical engineering as a concentration, and hopefully uh, sometime in the near future that'd be listed as a major as well. So a cool thing to note about the uh, College of Engineering and Technology and our College of Business is that these colleges share a building called uh, the Business and Engineering um, Convergence Center. Basically, what this is, is you walk into this huge uh, new building that we just uh, added on campus a year ago, about a year and a half ago, um, $100 million building. You walk in to the right side, you have your business side, and then to the left side, you have your engineering side equipped with labs um, and literally everything that an engineer could wish for and ask for, it's in there. And staying with business, including our own ticker board as well. So um, we do try to, you know, uh, accompany students with uh, good technology, great technology, state-of-the-art technology, um, and also a great building. That way you can, you know, collaborate with uh, other fellow students and peers. And our largest college is the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. This ranges literally from biology to uh, world languages and cultures and everything in between as history, English, mathematics, and so on and so forth. When I was a student, I was in the Liberal Arts and Sciences College. I was a criminology major and I had no minor because I was lame, but definitely uh, tack on a minor if you have the time to. And our academic exploration program, this is not one of our five colleges. However, it's almost like a college. Basically this program is for uh, undecided students who are coming uh, uh, you know, to, uh, to college, it's okay if you don't really know what you want to do at this point. Um, this is uh, the point of our program. So it's just an undecided program where uh, we house you and we make sure that we put you on a path in the direction to, um, to where you feel like your hobbies and your interests will go into. So if you are undecided, then no worries. We'll help you go ahead and figure out a major. Um, I would say 95% of our undecided students declare their major by their sophomore year. So it's a huge, it's a rigorous program. We really want to make sure that um, you know we get you started in your major. That way you can get out of here in four years. And um, over 90% of our academic exploration program majors uh, students, they do declare a major within their second semester freshman year, so before their sophomore year. Um, campus, like I said, we are mid-sized campus, so campus is relatively small. It takes about 10 minutes to walk from one end of campus to another. As a student, my favorite thing was literally waking up uh, 20, 15 minutes before class, uh, brush my teeth, hurry up, eat breakfast, and then just, you know, dilly-dally into class. So um, you don't have to take a bus or anything like that to get to class, and it's not a daunting walk either. 
Student life is really cool. Um, we have over 240 clubs and organizations on campus, including Greek life, which makes up about 33% of our campus. Um, and with student life, there are all the clubs and organizations are ran by students. Um, if you do not have a, a club or organization that you know you want to get that you're interested in, then you can definitely uh, start those right away as soon as you're on campus. All it takes is uh, two other peers and uh, a president and also um, uh, another executive leader in that position. But those are all ran by students. You figure that out yourself. Declare your organization, and then that will be uh, you can table at our activities fair on campus. Um, and then the, 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 the admission process. So um, we are test optional. So I highly advise you to uh, apply. We're, in, we're test optional and definitely um, via COVID. So I highly encourage you to apply test optional. Um, it, if you do uh, want to submit your test scores, you can, but you are not required to. And last but not least, we do, um, we are available on the, uh, we have our own uh, Bradley app. We also have a common application you can apply to as well. And we are also doing in-person visits. So um, if you have time, definitely come check us out in the Peoria area. Um, you can get a personalized tour. You can talk to faculty and you can obviously uh, see all of campus and we would love to have you here. So I'll leave the rest of my contact information in the chat below and I hope you guys uh, have a great day. And thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you everyone for joining us. When this window closes, there'll be a link to a very quick four question survey. We appreciate your feedback. Uh, in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all the other session recordings at strivescan.com backslash Texas. Thank you. And thank you so much to all of our uh, presenters tonight. Have a great night. <laughs>